Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. And today you are going to enjoy this conversation with my guest, Carrie Murphy, who is the CEO and founder of Inspired Living. We'll be talking about leadership, becoming the go-to expert, and the types of videos all entrepreneurs should create. So clear your distractions and say hello to Carrie Murphy. Welcome to the show, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Super excited to be here. Let's talk. Let's do I it. I know. I'm excited because I actually enjoy talking about video, but I know my audience sometimes are like, ah, video. But you have a quote or a tagline, dream it, live it, be it. And you empower people all over the world. So before I jump into my like loaded questions on video, can you share with the listeners what you do and why you focus on video? Oh yeah, such a good question. So inspired living at the end of the day, honestly, we're about helping you live in spirit, connected, doing your genius work, sharing your message, making great money, putting it back into causes that you're excited about. Like inspired living is a lot more than just video. But as I teach, you have to get known for one thing and video is our vehicle. Video is where people come to us, whether they're a realtor, a doctor, an attorney, an acupuncturist, and they're realizing that they've hit some sort of ceiling in their life whether they have a brick and mortar or maybe they're working one-to-one -one, and they know in their belly they're meant to serve more and they don't know how, but they're smart. They know, hey, this whole video thing, this video thing is a hot thing. I should probably jump on there and just the fear keeps them from showing up, Allison. So for myself, I have been on camera, I just say over, over 30 years. We could round it up another decade probably, but we'll just keep it at <laughs> over 30 years. Um, and I've been an entrepreneur now. We're going on year 25. It's my third business. So what we do that is so unique is we're not just talking about media pitches and talking in sound bites. It's strategy to really grow and scale your business, which is what juices me up. I get so excited to help people figure out like what's the puzzle piece that's missing so I can truly like live this inspired life that I started my business in the first place for, but find myself trapped underneath my desk because I can't get out of the to-dos, right? So that's why and what, and we'll talk about the how. I love that. And that definitely resonates with me because I feel inspired every day to serve more, do more, reach more people. Yeah. And I know a lot of people just become paralyzed because again, they don't have a strategy. But video kind of intimidates them. And there's a lot of people that just choose not to utilize social media so much. And that's something yeah. that I actually gave up for the next month is I am just putting down my phone and I'm not getting on social media. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, but wait a minute, I still have to connect with my audience on a personal level. So now I am trying a strategy utilizing video with me and using it in my email campaigns. So but I'll that's just it, Allison. That's just it, not to interrupt you, but oh, yeah. it doesn't just have to be social. Like when my clients use it for onboarding new talent onto their team, or they're using it for interpersonal communications within the organization, or they're using it in their emails and newsletters. I mean, yes, social media is an amazing source. It is, but I also am all about the fast, the break. Let's, you know, there are so many ways that you can use video that really helps people feel more connected to you as the leader, right? As the business owner, the messenger, I, I like to call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know what? And the reason why I brought up social media, because I think a lot of people, when they think of video, the first thing they think of is probably Instagram and they're going to think of reels and they're going to think of Instagram stories. So I want to know from you, like, what are the types of videos every business owner should create? Okay. Such a good question. We teach five. There are five types of videos and yes, Instagram real stories, but come on girl. Like it was just, you know, IGTV and then that was gone and then there's lives. Yes. And then, so, so when you actually implement just these five core types of videos, it doesn't matter what's happening on the platforms. I just want to speak because I've been teaching this for over a decade before the pandemic, before everyone was like, holy moly, I need to get on video. And I'm telling you that tur that tortoise and hare, slow and steady wins the race. Why I got to go Southern with that, I don't know. <laughs> um, but that really is the secret. It's not jumping on trends. It is figuring yeah. out your voice, really understanding your target market and your message to that market. And then no matter what the algorithm or what the platform is deciding to do, you are showing up consistent. And that's honestly, if there was a secret, it's not sexy, it's boring to some people, especially visionaries, but getting the consistent message out to the right people 
is how you grow and scale your business. So we use five types of videos. The first one is positioning. Now this video is a uh, home and center front on your website. It has been proven over and over again. Statistics show that websites convert at over 80% better if there's a video front and center on the home page. And it's just a real quick 90 second, why I'm there, what you do, how you do it, and the next step you want me to take. So this is the video. People fly in and, and get this done with my team where we, we produce and edit and do my hair and makeup and all the things. But this is the first impression, right? The whole point of everything that we do, social media, speaking at events, all the things, is to either drive them to a call, drive them to your website. So most websites don't convert because there's too much copy. Business owners make it too much about them instead mm. of the people that they serve. So that positioning video, it's a game changer. Like get that done, get it done professionally because this again is like the first impression. You got me in your home, now where do I go that I'm here? So that's, that's the positioning. The next one is what I call product videos. And these are the videos you probably see on social, you see on YouTube, they're content driven. And as business leaders, like our job is to serve, answer questions, help someone alleviate a pain point that they're feeling, helping them step into possibility. So these product videos are like, they're products of you, right? They're content. And so those should go out at least once a week where you're providing great value to your audience, no matter what the size is. On the flip side of that, Allison, you could also sell your content. We have online trainings. We have mini courses. Think about what you know for a minute. Just breathe with me for a minute and think about how much you know about what you do. And most of us think, I don't know enough. I don't have anything to share. I'm like, I guarantee you, if you just took a moment and thought about what questions do people ask me every single day? What am I constantly helping lead to lead people into as far as possibility in their lives? You have more content than you know what to do with. It's just understanding how to chunk it down um, and how to create both of those products, whether it's a course, a training, a workshop, which is paid for, right? That's a six figure revenue stream for most people. And then there's the get to know know you, no love, trust factor that you're building with putting out free content. So that's product videos. The third video and the video that I think grows your brand the quickest is what, what I call personality videos. These are the mm. reels and the stories and like the behind the scenes. How many times, now if I have ladies listening and watching right now, I want you to think about it for a minute. How many times have you made a buying decision simply because you liked someone? Like you're like, oh my gosh, I love this person on camera. She's great. I trust her. She's funny. She gets me. She, we buy emotionally. So people don't just want to hear your awesome information. People actually want to know that they're like you, that you have the same troubles, that you don't live what I call this glossy life where everything is Instagram perfect. Believe it or not, that's totally counterintuitive to getting people to no love and trust you. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't just want to see you at the top of the mountain with your glossy house and your, you know, five-star <laughs> vacations. Or on the know, beach, the, right? <laughs> on the beach with the laptop and the hot men serving you martinis. Um, is that just my fantasy? Okay. So I'm like, I would just say like those personality videos, those behind the scenes that I love it, like the boss mom in sweatpants, like just doing life. That's where people go. Oh my gosh. Like she gets me. I can see myself in her. So I always tell my clients who suffer from imposter syndrome, look, all you need to be is two steps ahead. You are the guide for people. You're not the hero. So stop trying to be all things and just say, hey, I so understand because I was just there and let me show you what I did to get out of it. Like that's the goal. So personality videos, whether you're a mom, you love sci-fi, you're a cook, you love good wine, whatever it is, share that because that's where people really connect with you. So that's number three. The Can fourth I just video. Pop in real yeah. quick on yeah. number three. Sure, of course. Because I just want to say that that actually works because what I started doing earlier this year when I was on Instagram, I decided to share because I have a rule in my business where Wednesdays is my big like editing day. So Wednesdays is my day to kind of work in sweatpants or my pajamas. And it's, uh -huh. I don't do my hair. I no makeup. Like sometimes I don't brush my teeth till noon. And I <laughs> always show that in my Instagram stories, I'll either do a video or whatever. And I'll be like, Hey, it's that time again this week. Yeah. It's Wednesday here. I'm showing up for you. I don't even put a filter on Instagram and they literally see the bags under my eyes. And I'm like, this is me. Yeah. I get the most views on those and the most comments. And they're, you, you know, and I'm encouraging them to do the same thing. So I just want to attest to you that 
Thank you for being such a light. That's brave, girl. That's no filter (laughs) brave right there. I'm just going to prop up to you. But I will say that that is, I will, I have tested it. We're going on 12 years in business and the most curated produced people want high produced from me because I do teach people how to be on camera. However, it is the hair in a bun. Me for many years, I was a single mom with my daughter walking her around the neighborhood. I mean, those were the videos always. And to the stay still, I throw up a picture of my kids or a selfie behind the scenes. And that's always gets more, you know, looks and views and engagement than anything else. But it is a balance. I think people also want to see that, you know, you have your stuff together that you actually can help them get a result, but it is a balance. So those per- personality videos are huge. So thank you for edifying that. That's awesome. Um, the fourth video and one that us girl bosses are really not so good at is promotional. If mm-hmm. I hear one more time, I need to make more money. And I ask, well, how are you offering people your services? I don't. Like, okay, well then how are you going to make money if people don't know how to buy from you? So commercials have been around, right? Since the dawn of TV, uh, people need to know. In fact, it used to be about eight times that people had to see your product, your service, your information before making a buying decision. Research now shows us it's closer to 20 to 40 times. Wow. We are just inundated with content. We are, we are scrolling. We are just, here's the thing too. We're doing so many things at one time. This as amazing as it is, I call this our billion dollar asset. Um, it's also such a distraction. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that people need to hear something. I don't know about you, but there have been so many times I've wanted to buy something and I, I get distracted or, you know, total squirrel syndrome comes or I get my kid walks in and and, and needs something from me. It doesn't mean I didn't want to buy it. In fact, if I was to see it again, that very next day, I'd be like, Oh yeah. Right. So this is where consistent messaging over time, having different ways that people can get to know you and buy your product and services. But how we scaled to multi seven figures was actually ads, running ads to a challenge where I serve people so much and then I extend a way for them to continue that experience. So ladies, please, like you got to tell people how you how you do what you do in the world. Um, So promotional videos, there's lots of ways you can do those. They can be sales page videos, landing page videos. They can be ads. They can be so many different things. They could just be an email that you send out to your list of, Hey, you know what? Are you looking to, to, you know, alleviate this pain in your life? This is what I specialize in. You know, we're taking on some clients right now, book a call. It can be super easy. And then the last video is proof. You like my peas, all peas, nice and easy. <laughs> um, social proof. Whether it's on your website, again, we highlight people in our emails to our community as well. It is so awesome when you can say, look, like I'm proud of what we do. I can guarantee that we provide great service for you. It's another thing when other people can talk about their experience with you. So getting people to share short videos, we're talking like 15 seconds of their experience working with you or your team, why they would recommend it, where they were when they came into your ecosystem, where they are leaving it. Um, Again, that speaks volumes. And if you're looking for content for social, there you go. I just filled the day. You're welcome. Um, (laughs) So those are the five types of videos. And when people come to us, like they don't have a content calendar, they're throwing spaghetti on the wall. Mm -hmm. So we take these five videos and say, okay, you know, seven days a week, what are we sharing? How are we sharing it? So, you know, we are talking social and when it comes to videos, it's like the 75, 25 rule, 75, you are giving such good content. You are showing up, you are providing and you're in service. And then 25% of the time it's, Hey, buy my book, join my challenge, download my thing, book a call with me. Um, and you want to integrate those, right? Because again, different audience, different day, different platform, different call to action. I love those types of videos. And I'm sure if you're watching the video, cause it's going to be on YouTube, I've been taking notes because I, <laughs> I know love it. I you. have some yeah. work to do because I put an asterisk by two of them. I don't even have a video on my homepage, which I know I need to get one. I do have them on my sales page, which I was like, when yeah. you said that, I'm like, yes, yes. a little checkbox for me yeah. and the social <laughs> proof. So yes, it's good to get those t- testimonials and normally they're written. But what a great idea to get short little videos and they don't need to be like super professional. And I think that's what people think when it comes to video, it has to be professional. No, I think there's a time and a place for that. I mean, if you're doing an ad, even though I see 
big influencers in our space using their phones. I really think it depends on your brand, your brand experience, your audience. I have tested both. I can be honest and say, look, I've tried to do ads from my phone and doing them professionally. For us, the professional ones convert so much better. And it's because, you know, we do have more of a luxury brand and we teach you how to be on camera. So if I'm showing you videos from my phone, even though that's great, it's like, that's attainable. When it comes to ad quality, it, they just don't convert as well. So, but for some people, Marie Forleo, Amy Porter, I see people use their phones all the time. So don't get caught up in tech. That is my biggest piece of advice. Don't get caught up in tech. Get yourself a good ring light, a good um, microphone. Please use a microphone, please. And, you know, I'm on a webcam right now. You can get a Canon. The new I iPhone 14, it's ridiculous. I mean, it really is. Think about this for a minute. I grew up in the 80s, <laughs> dating myself. <laughs> But I had to audition to be on camera, first of all. I didn't have access like we do today. Right. And the equipment, Allison, like we needed these big soft boxes and the super huge like camera. Like you have no, no excuse except getting in your own way when it comes right. to being visible in your business. And I get getting in your own way. I really do understand because this is this is who we work with every day. And this is why we work so much on mindset and helping people overcome all of the things that keep us from showing up. So I wanna say I honor and appreciate that. However, when it comes to tech and opportunity, it, it's an open playing field. If you're willing to play, there's space for you. Now, do you have any cool, tech tools or apps that you like? Cause I know one app that I absolutely love, especially for the person who like looks at that camera and they see that little red light and they're just paralyzed. <laughs> they're like, I forgot what I was going to say. So yeah. it's, it's the, um, I think it's by big view. It's the teleprompter app. Yeah, I, mean, I do you can not recommend prompters. <laughs> I'll tell you, like we, we teach a format that is scientifically proved to really connect with how people scientifically think. Here's the thing that happens, Allison. And I grew up doing prompter. I've been a TV host for many years. So every here's the most amazing thing. I've owned three businesses and for all three businesses, I used video to grow it without knowing I was doing it. So my first business was interior design. I was the local interior design expert on our morning show. I was doing commercial work and then I owned a talent agency and I was the local fashion girl. Like I always was using video just because it, it was second nature to me. But now like the strategy, when I see people use prompter who don't know how to use prompter, they don't know how to emotionally connect it's not mm -hmm. written in a way that emotionally connects. If I can tell you're reading, now listen up, this is really important. You have three to eight seconds to keep and capture someone's attention on camera. That's a writer downer, three to eight seconds. So if you're talking about yourself, if you're talking and, or you're reading or you're looking at notes, I am gone. Yeah. I am not connected to you. And I can tell unless you are trained with prompter and most prompters apps, they're below the lens. So if you're looking below the lens, you're not establishing eye contact. So I'm not a fan. You can tell I'm, it's a hot topic. Now, have I used prompter? Uh, yes. Long form content ads that absolutely need me to remember something, but the prompter is in front of the lens. And I know there are some prompters that you can get now, but my, my whole point of saying that Allison is that I come from the belief you cannot be thinking about your words and feeling your words at the same time, unless you are a true pro, unless you've been trained, you've been either a reporter or you've done improv or you're an actress. And most of my clients, they're business owners and it is a muscle. Video is a muscle. Now, can you learn prompter? Absolutely. You can learn to read and emotionally connect and take pauses and engage. It's just a skill most people don't have and they use it too soon. They use it before they're comfortable on camera and it becomes a crutch. And then that three to eight seconds is gone. So just be mindful of that. And I think too, with all the apps and how easy it is to edit video, Really, no, just, you just hit record and you just kind of start talking and then you're like, okay, well, let me gather my thoughts here. Oh, and, and then you just go right back to it. You can cut out that middle 
you know, yes. kind of looking up. Much rather looking... you do that. And, yeah. and by the way, messing up or looking up, that's part of being a human. I think that it's more important to be authentic than it is to be perfect and scripted. In fact, if there was a t-shirt that had like my saying forever, it would be the P in perfection stands for poison. Literally, you trying to do it in one take, you trying to sound perfect, it's it's so not engaging. <laughs> like it's people don't right. respond to perfect sentence, period, pause, perfect sentence, period, pause. So if you mess up, like I make up words, I don't even know where I'm going. But again, that's relatable. People connect with that. Now, if you're shooting product videos or videos for YouTube, even those don't have to be perfect. If you're doing an ad, probably so. That positioning video for your website needs to be spot on. Then you do the format. You learn the format. You have bullet points. And you just remember the bullet points. And if there are two things, if I may share, that really help with the shift of mindset, it is these two things. First of all, we need to remember that video, as much as we want it to be about us, it's not. Video is not about me. It's not about you. And yet the minute you press record, unless you've worked with us, you think about yourself. Do I sound okay? Do I look okay? Do I really look like that? Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> so first of all, like when you understand video is not about you, video is about being of service, answering questions for your clients that are asking them every day. Like if you could just show up and be like, how can I help someone today? Totally takes that fear a little bit away. But here's the real kicker. It's understanding that at any time you are speaking to one person. One person. Even if the video goes viral, at any moment, there are only two sets of eyeballs listening and watching. So the key to creating amazing video content is knowing that one person you're talking to. I'm telling you, over 10 years of teaching this, I can tell in a nanosecond if you know who you're talking to or if you're up in your head saying, hi, everyone, so glad you're here. Mm -hmm. I serve everyone on the planet. If you have a problem, I can solve it. Where when you make it a conversation between you and another person, your favorite client, your best friend, the younger version of you before you figured it out, it's so much more emotionally connected and it totally takes the onus off you. You don't think about you anymore. When the minute you press record, I want you to see in your mind's eye who you're talking to. And I will promise you, if you practice this, you're going to feel so different on camera. Because instead of looking into a black void of, I don't know who I'm talking to, and all you can think about is you, it really shifts. It shifts everything. And so I really encourage you to focus on who are you talking to? And I think that helps boost your confidence as you're doing video. A thousand percent. Yeah. Because you come across so much more confident because you know who you're talking to, exactly. you know? Yeah. And so there, there is a sense of this quiet confidence that you can see in people who know this. You can see their way of being, how they talk, um, their mannerisms, their pause, their vo the vocal range, because they're just having a conversation with someone on the other side of the lens and you can feel that the reason why video is so successful is because it's emotional right we connect with so many more senses than we do if it's just audio or just you know just reading so i want you to think about what emotion do i want to create right now you know what state elicitation what am i trying to bring out of someone because we are so busy so it's your job as the person who's putting out great content to make someone stop <laughs> feel do right stop feel do that's our goal so it really does it helps so much if you know who you're talking to now i want to go back to something you said earlier at the beginning of our conversation about using video to build the know like and trust and I want to bounce this idea off of you because this is something that I did in the past and I'd like to get back to doing it. We were sure. talking about just hitting record. Mm -hmm. And if you fumble, whatever, you cut okay. those out. Yeah. I have kept those and I have made blooper videos and have yeah. put them in my Instagram stories to relate to my audience that yes, me, the podcaster or me doing reels, I screw up all the time. I love it. And I think that helps your audience trust you. And mm -hmm. in a funny way, I don't know if you'll agree with this. It also helps you to position yourself as the go-to expert, even though you're goofing, because I think you're willing to put yourself out there in front of your audience that people like that and they mm -hmm. want to come back to you for more. 
Yeah, um, absolutely. I love that you do that so much. In fact, I have a funny blooper real story. Uh, my first national TV jo hosting job was for the Golf Channel. I didn't golf, <laughs> but <laughs> I was I was a spokesperson for a golf tea time website where you go and like book tea times, right? So when I owned my talent agency, I was also the spokesperson for this website. And here's what they did, Allison. Unbeknownst to me, they would take my bloopers. And when I mess up, I make funny sounds like, ah! you know, <laughs> I sound like I belong in a, in a zoo. But they thought those were funny. And so they put them up on YouTube. Girl, I tell you what, more comments and and engagement on those and the golf channel saw those not my professional hosting reel that i had done oh no my blooper reels and they said she's funny i think our audience will like her let's fly her out to audition and they did and i got the show so i share that because in a gazillion years if it would i wouldn't have shared those things like i'm so glad they did it for me <laughs> but this is where people again people want to see that oh my god you mess up you allison you mess up too thank the lord like yes. she bleeds she laughs she messes up on camera again it's the relatability factor and people want to relate to you now is oprah gonna put out blooper reels probably not um but i think it has to go down again like your brand your messaging like i teach people how to be on camera i need to do more bloopers thank you for the reminder because i mess up a lot and i'm a one take wonder like i i knock it out pretty quick because i don't overthink that is my gift i'm i'm quicker on my feet i it's actually so counterintuitive if i was to ha write out a script that's why i was a miserable actress i, I can't memorize <laughs> to save my life but if you put me on the spot man i'm a quick thinker i think on my feet but that's not how everyone processes and that's why learning this format that we teach really teaching you how to scientifically create content so it does connect and convert with people watching, you'll never have to write a script in your life. So I love that. Allison, keep <laughs> doing the bloopers because people just want to see that they're not the only ones that struggle, right? I mean, that's why we love success stories. That's why we love true Hollywood stories. It's why, you know, we're so enamored with media and, and all the, um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Reality. TV. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The, the not so reality. Let me just tell you, right. I to exactly. burst the bubble. None of that is reality. Um, but that's, I mean, we love that. So this is where you get to show that in your own brand. And I, I think that's awesome. Yeah. Now let's talk to the overthinker because you mentioned that. So yes. the overthinker who's listening and may have dabbled in video or is not even dabbling in video, they want to, but they're paralyzed. Could you give them like one or two steps to get started? Absolutely. So going back to those first few things that number one, videos are not about you. And two, really understanding who you're talking to. That's going to help those overthinkers immensely. Like when you start the recording, where is your ideal client at? What pain are they struggling with? What's possible for them? And then I will tell you, my overthinkers, I let you write out a script because that's how your brain processes. And then I want you to highlight bullet points in different colors. This is what I learned from Kelly Day, our head media coach. She was a reporter for 23 years. And she's like, sometimes I would color block things. So I would remember in my head, oh yeah, blue, yellow, green. And so when you think about the number one thing I want you to address is the why. That is the first section of your video is why am I there? So can I just share a really quick example? Oh, sure. Because I think for everyone, especially the overthinkers, it's getting started, right? It's just like, I just got to start the damn video. <laughs> so instead of saying, hi, I'm Carrie Murphy. Thank you so much for being with me. I have been on camera for over three decades and my company, Inspire Living, specializes in teaching entrepreneurs how to use video in a way that allows them to scale their business and leverage their time. And you're probably like, okay, that's not so bad. No one cares. No one cares about me until you've all heard it that I care about you. So instead of starting your videos about you, start your videos about me, the person watching. So you are a busy entrepreneur. You are just trying to juggle so many things and you know you're meant to reach more people and you get stuck in the how. How do I do it? I'm doing all these things. How do I possibly reach more people without killing myself doing it? Well, video, right? You know you need to be using video, but the how gets you stuck. And so in this video, I'm gonna teach you the three things that you can do right now to make the how easier. Number one, 
notice I started with you, the pain, and now I'm going to help you step into a new possibility. So this is where that three to eight seconds, it's a game changer if you make it about me. So for my overthinkers, I want you to think about what is the number one thing your ideal client is struggling with and start with addressing that. Asking questions, doing what I call a mind read, and then you could talk about you and your experience. You can give no more than three bullet points per video, <laughs> and then a call to action. I mean, there's more that we teach, but it's really that simple. Why are they there? Addressing their pain, challenge, possibility. Why you? Why should I be listening to you? There's a gazillion people I could be listening to, so positioning yourself. And then give me some three bullet points and a call to action. And there you go. I mean, that really is your video content. We go a little bit deeper into structure, but that's kind of like high end when it comes to creating content. It's really that simple. It can be one bullet point. It can be so, one thing you want them to do. So I think the most important thing I'm hearing is make sure you meet your ideal person, whoever's watching, meet them where they're at now. Yes. And then show them what's possible. Yes. And then how you help them get there. Yes. It's kind of like That's if you're good. hitting, if you're hitting those three up. marks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I might say something like, okay, imagine just for a second, imagine if every single time you press record, you felt this sense of confidence, clarity, conviction. You knew why you were using video. You had new clients coming in because you were using video. You learned how to do it. So it wasn't killing yourself every day. Like how amazing would that feel? That's what we can help you do. So notice I address the pain. I might share some really juicy tips and then help them step into a new paradigm, a new possibility. Cause look, we are running fast every day. And even though we know, like we're not aware. So a lot of times we know what we need next, but we're not aware of the how next. So that's your job. That is your job to say, Hey, this is how, this is how you get there. And what would be the next thing that I could do to get closer to bridging that gap? Oh, that's so good. Carrie, this was such an awesome conversation. And I love I it. Know, yeah. I know my listeners are going to be like, okay, I need a framework. I need a strategy. So let the listeners know where can they connect with you to learn more? Yeah, I'm on all the platforms. It is me. I will say Instagram is probably where we're at most. That's at Inspired Living TV. But Allison, one of the things we get asked so much is, Carrie, what equipment do I need? How do I get started? So we put together this stunning Be Studio Ready guide. It's absolutely free. It's a PDF. And then it's like on camera tips, how to take the next step with us. And that's on my website, inspiredliving.tv. But I would highly recommend you go download it because it does. It gives all of our camera equipment and editing and all of those juicy things in the guide so you can get started. Cool. I will make sure that that guide is in the show notes and then where to connect with you on Instagram. But this was such a fun conversation. I know I enjoy video. It's fun for me to show up, but I hope this inspires our audience to take a little action. Mm -hmm. And it's not like you have to knock all of this out at one time, like choose one thing that you want to take action on it. And it's practice, practice it for yes. the next 30 days until you feel a little more confident and comfortable and then move on to the next piece. And then just imagine where you're going to be one year from now and the difference you're going to make through video. So Carrie, this was awesome. And I can't wait to have you back if we can dig Yay, deeper into let's video. Let's do it. Yes. So thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.